first of all, I'd like to congratulate Jared and his uh, his staff and his team on a uh, a great season. Um, he's made a ton of progress in his two years there, and you know I, I didn't expect anything differently. He was a heck of a player, and um, he really had his kids playing well coming into tonight's game. You know, the two kids that made all rookie, and you know Michael Green, uh, winning rookie of the year, and Adam Grant. What a career he had. Um, you know, to <clears throat> to play it at the Division One level and score at the level he did for four years is a credit to his hard work and, uh, you know, and determination. But for these guys, you know, <laughs> I don't think I said two words in the first 10 minutes of the game. The focus and intensity that they had um, to start everything was, you know, I don't want to say it's what I expected from the group, but with an experienced team that's been through so many playoff games and so many different scenarios, you know, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun to stand on the sideline those first couple minutes and, and, you know, really not have to do a whole heck of a lot. These guys carried the load. And, you know, I had a chance to thank our cheerleaders. Um, and I thank Dr. Atwood uh, for the band they were playing when I went over. But, you know, for those two groups, the atmosphere that they created in here tonight is something special. You know, they could be on spring break somewhere, um, you know, relaxing from their studies and doing things other than, you know, cheering for these guys and, you know, and playing playing their instruments. But what what a what an unbelievable job. We have the best band in the land. And, you know, the, the atmosphere that the cheer and, and dance team that, you know, that they bring to the Gall Arena every night is uh, is fantastic. So, you know, the, the, the team played, you know, it was a team game. Everybody that played contributed. And uh, you know they have a you know one and zero. It's an overused statement, but on to the next one. Rob, what does it say? Isaiah gets held in check. Randall comes out with a season high. What does it say about your team that you got huge contributions? Randall, Miles, Tyler, and you won by 26 points with the NEC Player of the Year being kind of held in check. Yeah, and uh, you know it's the first time that he's struggled you know and, and uh, Isaiah is a tremendous player and you know I, I think you know for Randall you know as, as a senior having been in those big games I'm not surprised I thought Ty and Miles gave us a great lift uh, Miles especially to start and then Ty coming off the bench but I think it speaks to the you know the the team and we're, we're finally healthy for the first time you know have everybody in and and practice in the rotation um, has been uh, has been pretty steady, so you know the, the depth certainly helps this time of year. When you can win by 26 points, I believe every other NEC game tonight was a one possession game, and it's kind of a desperate time of year for most teams. Just to be able to the game never in doubt. What does that kind of really say about your team? You know, I, again, I think it's the way we started. You know, the the the, start, the focus that we had. You know, for the the two days of practice. Um, you know, and, and then these guys you know, having five seniors in the sense of urgency as a coaching staff, we don't have to we don't have to prepare them for those moments. And it, these guys don't get too high, they don't get too low. And you know, I, I think it makes it as for a staff, it makes our job a lot easier because we don't have to get them to understand how important the next game is because we're all only promised 40 more minutes of basketball. And you know, I, I thought that these guys came out with the with an intensity and a focus that you know that they were determined to, to win the game. Randy. Taken, I think coming into this game, you took 98 shots this year. You come out, get get the pass from Keith, knock down that first jumper. You know how important was it to come out like that and, and hit that first shot for you? And just how did you feel entering this game? You know, I, like Coach says, so much, so much experience, so many veterans on this team. How would you describe your emotions or, or psychologically where you were? Uh, you know, at tip off. Um, we had we had a, a couple great practices before the game, so we knew the coaches were chirping in my ear, letting me know that I need to be aggressive because Zay just got played a year, so they're gonna focus on him. So whenever I have my open shot, just try to make it. How important was it to make that first one? Oh, it was very important. Uh, it felt good. It helped me play, like pick up my energy, and uh, wanted to play more defense. So I, it, was, it was great. Gotta ask you, what happened on the dunk? <laughs> He hit the ball a little bit, so I lost it. So we're just gonna go with that. <laughs> Rob, did you think that Randy you, chirping in the ear? Did you think because they really guarded Isaiah tough? That he specifically would have to come out and be aggressive like that? I didn't say it to him. One of the assistant coaches must have, and that's I mean that, the staff is tremendous. I mean they know when to push buttons, and you know having you know Umar and Eric and Andy, those three guys, you know, you know Umar and Eric having played in games like this, you know, in, in competitive games, and then. You know, Andy having coached, you know, at a high level and more experienced than all of us combined, you know, that, that's the sign, I think, of those three guys and the, 
what they bring to the table. You know, it's that was one of those guys. It wasn't me. Keith, what's it like for you to sit here with this kind of performance, knowing what you got from your teammates? Maybe some guys that don't get as much recognition as you and Isaiah, but they they really kind of help carry the load. Uh, you know, that's big time. And, you know, that's just a credit to our readiness and our focus uh, coming into the game. You know, everybody's getting shots up. We're watching film. We're talking about the scouting report. So that's just a big credit to the collectiveness of the group. Just everybody's on the same page and just locked in. And, you know, I'm cheering for these guys. I pass it to Randall Court. I'm telling them to shoot it because, you know, I have confidence in him. And, you know, uh, everybody just had the hot hand tonight a little bit. So um, just got to ride that momentum and, you know, not be satisfied, though. Just uh, focus on the next one. What does it mean to a team? come out, play the first 10 minutes the way you guys did, and, and just the, this game in general. You started strong and finished. Yes, big time. Uh, you know, we just wanted to come out and set the tone with our energy and our intensity. And, um, I think that was, the, you know, the best start that we had all season. So, uh, you know, we just got to try to duplicate that every single game just with that same focus and that same mindset. I believe you guys are going to play Sacred Heart in the next round. You, Chippy here, when they came here, what is the challenge when you maybe have that kind of history with the team? to kind of keep that focus within you guys so something doesn't get out of hand in a game that obviously means so much to both teams. Yeah, we just got to focus, you know, on our all, all, all the guys on our team. You know, we can't worry about what they're saying or what they're doing. We just got to be focused on ourselves. And as long as we're talking and communicating, you know, everybody's going to stay in check and we, we just keep playing hard, not back down from anybody. Keith, uh, I want to ask one more question about Randy. Just, you know, what do you appreciate most about his game or his mindset or what just he brings to the team? particularly in a situation like this? Um, just his grit and, you know, that mindset that he brings into every game, uh, whether it's defending, whether it's scoring the ball. And I mean, I've see, I seen him drive down the lane today like twice, just, just being aggressive with the ball. So, uh, you know, just to see my fellow senior do that, and, uh, you know, it's just big time. It's just big time. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.